Welcome to Larry's Library. This week we're taking a look at Sarah, the Deluxe Edition Hardcover by TKO. Going to get right into it. This one is uh, 208 pages. The list on it was $49.99, which you can get it for about, I think, $35 bucks from CheapGraphicNovels.com. As of yet, uh, InStockTrades.com does not carry TKO for some reason. No idea why. The creators on this one are uh, Garth Ennis on writing. Uh, the wonderful Steve Epting is doing the art here, and he's inking himself, so it's fabulous. Uh, I don't usually mention colorists, because usually it's the kind of thing that I more notice when it's bad than when it's good. But on this one, uh, it's Elizabeth Brightweiser, and she is one of the best. She might be my favorite currently working colorist, I'm not sure, but the colors on this one are outstanding. Fantastic. So, this one was... Uh, definitely not in my wheelhouse because I'm not uh, a World War II aficionado or historian or anything like that and I'm not much on war comics in general but what attracted me here was that creative team Garth Ennis with Steve Epting like okay gotta have it <laughs> going for it so I got it and I'm glad I did uh, this one uh, as far as the contents it collects issues one through six of Sarah this was a limited series and so it's done in one in this collected form. So this one is set in 1942. It's World War II. It's, it's during the Nazi invasion of Russia. And so with this one, you get a, a pretty good look at something that hasn't got a lot of attention, at least I've not heard of it much, and that is the female Russian soldiers that fought the Nazis in World War II. Yeah, I mean, they had them doing everything. There were infantry uh, female soldiers, there were pilots, machine gunners, the whole nine yards. And in this case, there were snipers. And some particularly badass snipers is what's featured here. And so this concerns a squad of these female snipers working in the snow uh, in these, you know, in the winter. And they're trying to flush out and take out as many of the Nazi invaders as they can. And Sarah is the, the best one of the lot. She's the greatest sharpshooter in that squad, and she's racking up kill after kill after kill, and her uh, reputation is, has become almost legend, you know, at one point in the story. And it, it's, it's a really fascinating tale. I mean, and I can't speak highly enough of the artwork here. Now, I've been a fan of Steve Epting for many years. Uh, I absolutely loved his run his legendary run on Captain America with uh, Brubaker writing. But Dara, I'm going to go ahead and say it, the art in here is better than in his Captain America run. And I guess that shows you that, like a lot of great artists, they continue to get better as they get older. And that's what's happening here. He is just getting better and better and better. It's, it's absolutely stunning. Uh, the lighting, the things he's doing with lighting, and I don't know if I can blame that on him, or if it's the colors by uh, Elizabeth uh, Brightwise, I'm not sure. But either way, it's a combination that is just breathtakingly beautiful, uh, very realistic looking, almost 3D at times. The, the lighting, like I said, it's fantastic. It, it just, it's, it's almost hyper-realistic at times, especially the faces. Uh, Steve Epting is a master of, of faces. And he takes no shortcuts. There's no shortcuts in any of his art, especially not here when he's inking himself. These, uh, everything is, I've used this phrase a lot, but everything is fully rendered. I mean, you don't have a, a couple of primary subjects and then a blank background, like you see in a lot of comics. It's not happening here. I mean, look at the backgrounds. Look at, look at all the details you see in here. I mean, this must have taken ages for him to do. I, I can't imagine that you could do something this beautiful and this detailed quickly. But I'm sure glad he took his time because I loved it. It's a feast for the eyes. And the story is great too. It's got a lot of heart. Uh, it, it, I, I think it's historically accurate. Again, I'm not an expert about World War II or anything like that. I'm certainly not an expert about the Russian infantry or, or snipers or any of that. But it, it seems like uh, this was a passion project for both of them. And I think Garth Dennis did a lot of research. Uh, according to the supplementary material at the back here, he did do a quite a bit of research. So I feel like it's probably pretty accurate. If you are an expert about World War II and or the uh, Russian the conflict with the invading Nazis in Russia, 
Uh, weigh in down below in the comments. Let me know how, how close do they get to accuracy in this. Is it, is it pretty accurate? You let me know if you know. But yeah, I, I enjoy the hell out of this. And I totally recommend it if you're a fan of, if you're a fan of great comic book art, pick this up. If you're a fan of Garth Ennis, you'll want to get it. Uh, either way, it's, it's fantastic. Well worth the price. Uh, like I say, it's 200, 208 pages. Uh, it seems, I sort of say it seems a little short, but I don't think that's it. I think you're having so much fun and you're so engrossed in this story that when it ends, it just ends. And without giving too much away, it's a hell of an ending. I mean, it's not necessarily going to put a smile on your face, this ending, but you're going to realize that this is the brutality, you know, of war. Uh, he doesn't pull any punches here. You, you see, you know, you see the glory, but you also see the tragedy. And it's, it's fantastic. It's really good. Uh, I can't speak, I, I can't recommend this one highly enough. This is 10 out of 10 for me, as you could imagine. I give out a lot of 10s though. But realize, I'm pretty good at picking stuff I love. There's very few times I've picked a dud. And very few times uh, has anyone gave me a dud. So, you know. And even if I had a dud, I'm not sure I'd put it on the channel. Maybe I would. But, again, I'm pretty good at picking them. So, not likely you're going to see a dud review on here. But anyway, I, I, there's nothing here I would change. For me, th this is a 10. And that's how I review things. Everything starts out as a 10. And as I find you know, problems perceived or real, you know, I adjust as I go. This one started out a 10 and it is a 10. I mean, this, look at this lush artwork. Just check it out. Uh, and it's great. And it's a great story. It's going to enthrall you. You're going to be interested in Sarah and her friends and you're going to love it. I, I really, I really believe that one. So that's all I got this week. Uh, come on back for more. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time.